action of one useful I have passed to the people. Our brother Nam the Kano. I may be a friend by indication. Therefore, so we can never, never deny our ancestors. This is baby Aisha and what? Thank you. 
pleasure to meet you, um, wonderful sister. Um, we would like you to introduce yourself to our audience out there. Hello, dear friends. My name is Rita Ferdinand Wong. I am the DG for the movement of the advance in Nigeria. Okay, what is the uh, movement of the advance in Nigeria all about? This movie, what is it all about? Like I told you, more the political arm of the customary government of this lost the economy. And uh, their aims and objective, what do they want to achieve? What Morpin is out to achieve is total takeover of the quality of their mind. Their fans need to take over their, polit their political space. Why, we, why, why do they need that? Because power lies in parliament. It is in the parliament that we can issue laws. And once those laws are enacted, those powers guide the water without much anger. You believe that if their fans are in the government houses, um, laws like uh, customary law uh, bill. And then the past and the okay, well, um, our people are still um, skeptical about um, this uh, idea of joining the political movement and um, yeah, or participating in politics in Nigeria. Now, what is your perception about the Biafran people joining this movement and what will be the benefit? Because that is the end thing. How can Biafra be achieved through this process? Um, what I will tell Biafran. We are friends living in Nigeria. We are Nigerian citizens. Why we are into just people of the Africa? And as long as we are citizens of Nigeria, we have to take part in the politics of Nigeria. Because the Naira we use is Nigerian Naira. The international passport that we use is Nigeria international passport. We have not restored the Africa. We want to restore the Afra. And dominating the political space in Nigeria will accord us the Afra very, very soon. And there will be no shedding of blood. How would that be achieved? How, how will joining that politics be achieved? How can that lead to ultimately getting the Afra? That is what many people want to know. What we are saying is that if we have called the Afra in the government houses of Anambra, Imo, Adia, Ebon, Delta, Rivers, um, Kogi, and all the Biafra states, it is very, very easy for these governments who are called Biafra to come together and agree that they want Biafra. When we have vibrant Biafra as governments, it will not take them anything to tell the federal government that they want Biafra. And if they say that they want Biafra and they stick by it, of course you know that they, it will go a long way giving us Biafra. Let me give you an example. The governor of Ekiti State, Ayo Fayoshi, all the things that he is doing in Ekiti State, he has the support of his people. That if Ekiti State wants to pull out of maybe Nigeria, it will be easy. Because the, uh, um, the governor has the love of his people. We have the interest of these people at heart, and he represents the people's interest. So, if we can replicate that in Biafra land, of course, we will have Biafra without shaking of the Many people in the past, especially some Biafran agitators, you know, had, uh, they have lamented that political class have used them in the past, mentioning some political parties and political gladiators that have used the sentiment of Biafra to, you know, maneuver. Biafra people have used them to mobilize for their election. And at the end of the day, they turn their back against the people. Whenever they take the vote of office, you usually it's no longer the same person that you are speaking with, that you love, with, that you see again. So, how will Mobi checkmate all that and ensure that truly these people, when they are going in, they are going to be part of Biafra agenda? Their, 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 their policies will be towards Biafra ultimate uh, uh, freedom. Okay. That is what we are talking about. Like I said, in the past, what Biafrans have been defending is party, political party. For instance, Abuja. We used to say those days that Abuja is a low party, Biafran party. We don't checkmate the personalities, the people, the individuals behind this political party. Are they really Biafrans? 
because you know that every man, woman, boy, girl, born into the Afra territory automatically is a Biafra. But we have people who have that Biafra spirit in them. For instance, if you elect somebody like Nam Khan as the governor of Abia State, with that zeal, with that Biafra spirit in him, if you elect somebody like Vicent Indubisi Adeli as the governor of Anambra State, who have that Biafra spirit, he cannot get to the government house of Anambra State and he will be to see this all Because these people are tested and they have been, they have been put in the that are not happening. You believe that when, when you place hardcore Biafras in the government houses, definitely they will carry the Biafra spirit into the mainstream. That's just what we are talking about. Um, uh, from what we had on the street, you you are playing the role of mobilization. Outside mobilizing people to support um, UPP was already happy. It's no longer a gift. And UPP, UPP is now the, uh, the Biafran National Party uh, to drive home their self determination. Now, you, your role as a mobbing to mobilize people to support and join UPP. Outside that, what do you think mobbing can do to make sure that the Yenis? of Biafra will be duly represented and that money back politicians will not come back to hijack the party. Alright. You see what we have, the product that we have, it's a very, very sentimental product. And that is Biafra. An average a woman, an average a German, an average a ethnic um, man needs Biafra. And if we are able if we are able to, you know, elect poor Biafras into the polity of Nigeria, my brother, to checkmate them or not get them. Because the power belongs to the people. And if we are able to mobilize our people, you know Biafras, if we are able to mobilize our people and they elect somebody into the government house, and when that person goes there and begin to see the different song, how to remove him from the In the past, um, finally, we heard from the chairman of uh, Mobi, that is the Mekel Mekeshi, where he was saying that Mobi is going to um, screen candidates that will contest under this platform to make sure they are carrying the spirit of Biafra in them. How, how will you, how will you um, for instance, um, manage someone, or how will you what is your, 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 your scope to scale those who carry the Biafra spirit and those who will not vouch out when they go into office? Because what we are saying, I'm emphasizing on this, is that many Biafra people still have sentiment and reservation in this political movement. So we want to make them get reassured, double reassurance, that Mobi will do a perfect job and to make sure that everyone that involved in this process will be accountable to the Afra people. Number one is that there is going to be a political debate among all the contestants. Do you understand? You may put it. Is, is that the one organized by the state or the one that Mobi will organize for his candidate inside the Mobi will organize, yes, she understand. Because we, are, we have so many Biafrans. We are not just going to present one person. We have people who are interested. We have all the Afras who are interested to be part of what we are talking about. Whether there are 10, there are 20, there are 5, there are 2, there is going to be an internal screening in Mobi. From Mobi, we will pick out somebody who will represent the interest of the Afras and will bring that person into UPP. In UPP, I know that there are still going to be other candidates. But because Mobi is mobilizing for we are going to ensure that the screening and the political debate will be carried out and it will be done in the open. A situation where anybody who wants to contest for a governorship, for instance, in Anambra State, will have to come out as a caucus and declare before the Afra that number one, I am a Biafra. Number one, openly, that is openly. It is no longer the secret as a conquer. Anybody who cannot come out openly to 
declare that he or she is a Biafra is not what to represent us. That is number one criteria. You will come out with Biafra flag and tell your people that I am a Biafra and I am going to represent the interests of Biafra if I am elected the governor of Anambra State. That is number one. Number two is that we are going to organize political debates. It is not just coming to tell us that I am a Biafran, that when I'm elected, you will tell us how you are going to do it. Tell us in clear text how you are going to do it. How you are going to use your office to drive for the agitation of the restoration of Biafran. Thank you so much. It is a pleasure speaking with you today. And I believe our viewers are there. Stay connected.